Hello everybody, I'm John with JP Strategic Investments and today I wanted to talk about how Rocket Companies is kind of in this weird position where it's associated with these meme stocks like AMC and GameStop but at the same time it has great fundamentals and is arguably very undervalued. And more specifically I want to talk about how investors who are investing in Rocket Companies for the fundamentals can really navigate when the stock is moving based on fundamentals and when it's moving based on a short squeeze or gamma squeeze scenario. Now, the first thing I want to touch on here is Rocket Company's potential for a short squeeze. Now, it used to have a very high short interest. It was around 40% or even higher at certain points, but now it's actually a lot lower. If we take a look at their current short interest, it's right around 15%. That's really not a very high short interest when it comes to short squeeze potential. So at the moment, it doesn't look like it has a lot of potential for a short squeeze, but the short volume has been increasing. You can see the change versus the previous month is almost 100%. So there's twice as much short volume in this month as there was last month. So we could very well see over the next several months, the short interest increase, and it could get to a point where Rocket Companies is again a good candidate for a short squeeze. Either way, right now, Rocket Companies is still going to have that kind of association with these stocks like GameStop and AMC. So how can investors really navigate when the stock is moving based on that association or when the stock is moving based on the actual fundamentals of the company? I think a great example of this is what's happened with the stock over the last few days. If we look at the stock on Tuesday, it had a nice jump of about 7%. Now when this happened, I actually did put a video out and I said what I think is happening is the stock is having a gamma squeeze. Now if you don't know what a gamma squeeze is or how it can affect the stock, I recommend watching that video. I'll link it in the info cards above and I really think I break down in that video well what a gamma squeeze is and how it can affect the stock. And I also said that because of this gamma squeeze, we could very well see the stock come back down towards its max pain level. Now, again, if you don't know what a max pain level is, check out that other video. But basically the main reason I bring this up is because if you are invested in rocket companies, you do need to be familiar with what a short squeeze is, how it works, and what other things like a gamma squeeze that can happen around a short squeeze. Now, another thing to look at obviously is was there any news that came out about the company or the fundamentals? And if there wasn't, then that's also a good sign that the stock isn't moving based on fundamentals. Tuesday was a great example of this. There wasn't really any major news that came out about the stock. There were two analysts that initiated coverage, but one with a price target of 18 and one with a price target of 23. Normally, if we just had a buy rating come out, then maybe the stock would go up a little bit. I don't know, about 7%. But if we have a price target of 18 and 23 come out at the same time, those kind of cancel out each other. So we really shouldn't see this major move. So that's kind of more evidence that the stock was moving based on more of a gamma squeeze scenario rather than the fundamentals of the company. So my advice to you guys, if you are in Rocket Company stock, is one, keep your eye on that short interest because the higher that gets, obviously the more potential there is for a short squeeze. Number two, familiarize yourselves with how short squeezes work and what other things can happen like gamma squeezes around potential short squeeze scenarios. And finally, three, whenever there's a large move or anything like that, always check for these signs and see if there's any major news that came out about the company. And then you can evaluate whether the stock is moving based on fundamentals or whether it's moving based on something else like a potential short squeeze or gamma squeeze. I hope this really helps you guys with your analysis and figuring out why the stock is moving at certain points, and hopefully that helps you better strategize your investments. If you did find this video helpful, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that said, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.